Hello everyone and welcome back to Welcome La to Pain. Yeah tattoo. Welcome back to La Mulana 2. Well, we last left off, we finished opening the seal on the gate of the dead, and then remember we can't actually go through that door. We also observed Mobra being very weird. Yep. And wiggling her toes. And hey, took her shoes. Okay, she gave them to us, but that's the point. Yeah. Snow shoes. Now Just... why she gave us why she gave us the shoes she's been wearing instead of her spare pair that she said she had. Uh -huh. Remember this boss? Yeah, we've been needing to come back to this for a while now. Stuffer! Get down here! I guess she did. Bevlika. Because... Mythology is like weird words. Yeah. Stop getting hit, gosh. Easy for you to say. <laughs> well, yes. I'm not the one having to dodge, I'm just keeping track of all the projectiles. There we go. I even managed Lost. to get most of them. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Fine. That is here that we technically you got the. Hmm? You can probably jump around those two pillars on the side. Yep. Speaking of which, uh, there was an image on a tablet we found a while ago. If I can remember exactly where to shoot. There. <laughs> and technically the tablet didn't show this room, it showed the room on the other side. But we could see that room from below and kinda figure out that it is here. Remember? Right. Yeah, vaguely. And now we have that. And well Baba Yaga just sweeping away. Yep. The Vanir spoke of the great lake of waves, of what is known as the sea. Those who seek must speak the name of Seer. Or, or something like that, I, I don't know how to pronounce that. It's probably Norse, if I had to guess. But I'm probably also wrong. Oh look, so. something very suspicious! Oh, come on. Quack. I'm gonna heal. I think it's time to leave. Like, I'm just gonna go... What place is the be? At least that boss is now just dead, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. Still trying to remember what I need to hit up the uh, the thing on the other side of the shrine of the giants. You know the the area we go to through the corridor of blue. No. There was some statue that we needed to use a uh, a mantra to wake up, but I don't remember which one it was. Oh well. That will be a later thing. For now, we have this to do. Hello, goodbye. The Pochette Key! Yay! 
the giant Bergelmir supports the world of Frost. His awakening will melt even the eternal wall of ice. That was his name. I mean, I still don't remember the real mantra to wake him up, but... Alright, now let's go and... We did go in there, right? I think we did. Think so. Oh, I am dumb. Very, very dumb. This is something that we know. I'm just gonna confirm. Oh yeah, this guy. Yeah. And I don't even have uh, ice. And I can't even use ice sleeping as an excuse anymore. But I have an important question regarding all these people just sitting around in these rooms. Mm -hmm. What, what do they, they eat? eat? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but what do they eat? That's an excellent question. Excellent answer is fuck the final. Right away, opening that entrance down there is doesn't actually make it permanently open, that's why I'm not bothering. Acceptance into the fairy guild lies at the ice fire treetop, beyond the five pillars of ice. That's good to know, I guess. You might have noticed uh, that the others just blocked off. You don't say. So we need to wake up Bergelmir or whatever his name is. From Valor's back erupts the seeds of Hellfire. Oh, it was something. That's the that's where the fairy guild is, but we don't have the pass yet. Was there something here? I probably oh, I'll wait, I'll take it. At least we have this shortcut open now. really do much with that yet because we don't have double jump, but you know, make sure to go back later. Well, there isn't a uh, red eye here, so we should be fine to try things out. I believe it was... Might just have been those three, actually. Or not. Alright, fire was one of them. I'm pretty sure Fire was one of them. Mm. Are you sure it's three? No. Are you sure it's two? It's more than one. Ninety percent sure that fire is one of them. I mean, it would make sense. Mm -hmm. 
I should also probably just mark that I have the uh, file and the sun and the sea mantras. I guess we just don't have the red ones yet. Well, we do have the pochetki. That is the sound of someone who is about to suffer. Do you want to know how much I'm about to suffer? Palinke. That much. <laughs> Palinke. Actually, it's probably not as well as Palenque. It's, it's only fun fight if you know how to do it. And you're not bad. Yeah, exactly. Which is why I'm gonna uh, make a manual save here. <laughs> When melting ice in the shrine of the frost giants? Hmm. According to these materials, it's ages can be melted by hitting it up. Hmm? Automatic? There's a way, some kind of machine, that's what it says. Gee, thanks. Okay then. Well, what'd you expect from Molebrook, the uh, Ruin Hunter Extraordinaire? Didn't actually have that one? Apparently not. Well, I might as well take a short break reading that while, the, while I Crack mentally him. prepare. A giant squid found in the deepest parts of the ruins. They have no bones, but have very hard surface and heavy weight. And are able to crush enemies with the impact of their bodies. It seems like why they inhabit the depths of Eglana where water flows in from the roots of Yggdrasil. Unleash the Kraken! Yep. And here we are. Enjoy! <laughs> Let's see how well I remember to do this thing. First of all... Oh. I'm sorry, a motorcycle chase? Yep. Look at the back look at the back background too. You're what? literally going in a circle. Yep. Ow. Yep, I definitely don't remember how to do this very well. He's got a gun. I want a gun! It's a big loot. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this is probably one of the coolest boss fights in the series so far. Just on principle. Yep. <laughs> it's like, yeah, you got all these like dragons and magma cows and, you know, the mother. It is definitely better than Palenque, that's for sure. And then you get this guy, who's literally just a, it's a, it's a scout biker, but with, with, as, with as much firepower as a Terminator. Damn it. And he's giving you a thrashing too. Yep. It can be hard to remember the good the timing on where to jump. Alright. 
You are dead. Yep. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and equip this C4. You know? Needless to say, if you don't activate uh, the key on time, he just crushes you. Makes sense. He's a lot more entertaining to fight than Tiamat was, that's for sure. Yeah, don't worry, we'll have our fair shade of very painful bosses. But will it be as bullshit as Tiamat? Um, we'll see. <laughs> uh. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's giving you a royal crashing here. Yeah, but that's just because I'm being bad. That is very true. Come on, I just fight a gun with a gun. As tempting as that is, I know there's... I want to save up my ammo. Oh, come on. As much of a trashing as he's giving me, it's not actually that bad. Oh, come on. You ate that one head on. Yep. Listen, you brought a whip to a gunfight, come on. What'd you expect? Should I have brought that knife to a gunfight? It depends, is it a throwing knife? No. Then you'd still would have lost. Especially the, the, the knife in this game. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure I cannot actually hit him with the knife. I still not very good at dodging that one. You know, Palenque is a uh, brother, cousin, whatever you want to call it, of Sky in relation to the um, fact that he's basically Palenque 2.0. It's a lot cooler than Palenque. Yeah. Huh? Oh, my cat wants to be let in my room. Hmm. That's usually how cats work. Oh, come on, you can do that. Yeah, I just jumped through. God damn it. Holy shit. Getting the time wrong. Huh? That's what I did. 
I don't think the cow chops are working out for you, are they? Hey, I made it! No, <laughs> you know, strictly speaking, cow chops are meant for anti calvary. And while this counts as calvary, I don't think it'll work. Look, it does some damage behind me. <laughs> Which is more than I can say for all of my other weapons. I like how you can see the key on both the mural and on his bike. Yep. Whack. Jump to Sony again. Yes, yes you did. So, where can I get me one of those? If only, right? That's better, ow. Well, I'm doing better. Okay, getting closer. <sighs> the reward from this was is also pretty important. Well, we pretty much already know what the reward from this was is anyway. It's your own bike! No? I mean, I wish, but not quite. <laughs> Well, that's a better start at least. Sorry. Something like that. Hey, getting shot in the back is not good for your health. No shit. Glad I could help. Yes, darling, very helpful. Sarcasm is unbecoming of you. Even if it is in our usual repertoire of um, <laughs> words, they're failing me. Enough time to. Listen, English is very hard. Okay, 
Definitely yeah. doing. Definitely doing much with it now. Had to open your mouth, didn't you? Yep. It was mandatory. Next time, keep your mouth shut. I like especially with the pistol, he does his little twirl with it as he puts it away. Yeah, it would be nice to be able to see it. Worth it. Almost doing well. Almost. Only counts in horseshoes and nuclear strikes. <laughs> That's an interesting way to put it. Am I wrong? Off to a great start. Amazing start, in fact. Well, it's better practice this way. <laughs> <coughs> Do or die. Do or die indeed. I mean, I'm sure someone could take this 2 HP run and succeed. Yeah. But not you, probably. Yeah, probably not. with the pistol and yeah. in that little spin I gotcha <laughs> it was turning attention to the missile the missile's almost negligible if I'm being honest yeah if it doesn't hit me <laughs> yeah but it never really seems to go seems the explosion it leaves on the ground still damages me oh uh, so it's a little BS just a little yeah Jorman John. Hmm, yeah, it's really good in the Yeah, that explosion. That's so stupid. Yeah, 
Oh, that's so dumb, though. so hot there. Stupid stun backs. That was a bit bullshit. This is going to be the first episode of the series long enough to name after the boss, isn't it? <laughs> Probably. Damn! Yeah, that's bullshit. pressure there are not so much pressure you turn it turn into a pancake please hopefully not I hear fox pancakes are not good for the cons for, good for consumption or for the fox in question but that's kind of obvious mm-hmm Well, I, uh, I wasn't a pancake. No, you just, just got... Yeah. You know, contact damage is kind of mean. Yeah. Especially with bosses like this one where the actual hitbox is kind of weird. Can't be any worse than the mothers. Uh... Or, you know, the number of bosses that have massive body boxes and you can only hurt their head, which is way up high. Uh-huh. Almost landed right in that, you know. Yep. Oh, I 
that's the good part now, to use Skull Drops on. Music too. Yeah. Catchy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What did you do? Forget he's gonna back up? Kinda. Seems to always back up after the pistol shots. Not to mention, he'll keep looking back if he's gonna back up. Yeah! Yeah, indeed. Uh... <laughs> Much like his brother, he's a sore loser. Yup. At least this one's a bit easier to figure out what to do. <laughs> yeah, you only have like a half second to do it, but... And once you know it's gonna happen, you, it's not bad to time it. Yeah. With the with Palenki, I knew it was gonna happen. And I still had to try a oh, few I'm... times. And yeah, of course. <laughs> Did you stop paying attention? Grand teleport <laughs> as soon as you grab that. You need no, acquired. Yeah. Okay, time to go. Also, the Fairy Queen has come to Eglana. I came along as a escort and it was my first time entering Eglana. Goodness, that was scary. You're quite the incredible adventurer, huh? Well, at least I was able to bring the Fairy Queen safely back to the Fairy King in Anovin. I'm going home. Yep, and now. Let's go save. Up. Not doing that again. Indeed. Sounds like goes well already did. Anyway, hope that wasn't as long as I expected it to be at least. So yeah. yeah. Hope you all have fun and we'll see you next time. Goodbye. Bye.